Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video we'll work with our live blog and live campaign module. So let's get started. What I have here is the live campaign module and what I've done already is I've went into the lists and subscribers and I've created a list uh, for our company news and for company blog. And the reason I've done that is because we have a live blog module both at the company news page and the company blog page. So let me head over to company news page and show you that there's a live blog module right here. What I've done is added live campaign sign up module here on the right and basically I am uh, providing a place for my end users to go ahead and subscribe to our news or our live blog module through live campaign and the way I've done is I went through the manage and basically said here that anyone who joins the list make sure to subscribe them to the company news or company blog in my case I'm subscribing them to all of my list but if you just wanted them to subscribe to your company news you would make sure that it looks like this and just hit save so after we've done that anytime anyone goes ahead and adds joins the mailing list here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a, a, a test here so I'm gonna say test at testing.com let's say join our mailing list and if they do that they get added to our mailing list so let me head back over to my live campaign module in the list and subscribers and I can now see that there's uh, in my company news I have the test at testing uh, dot com added okay so let's go ahead and create a new campaign I'm going to say create a new campaign and this campaign will be used every time uh, a new blog post is created in my company news live blog module so I'm going to call this company news blog post just so I know what's going on in the subject we want to go ahead and use the subject uh, that is the title of the blog post so what I'm going to do is go ahead and post paste a token here I'm going to do, uh, basically saying whatever the live blog post is use this title as the subject okay now there's a documentation available which lists all the tokens that are available for live blog that you can use so I'm going to go ahead and click next and then content I already have an HTML markup uh, created so I'm going to go ahead and paste it in it could be uh, any HTML you like. Now the key here is, if you notice, is that I'm using a bunch of tokens. Wherever I'm using token post photo, that will become the photo that's included in the blog post. Post title will be will become the title of the post, and post summary would be the content of the post. I've also made these three elements right here: the web version, the photo, and the title, a link uh, to the main post and that's done using again another token called post uh, view link and I'll show you an example of that right here okay again all these uh, tokens are documented in our documentation so I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste my HTML again and hit next so this time I'm going to say I only want this uh, campaign going on to my company news list I'm go ahead and next and the most important step is right here we don't want this campaign delivered now we want it delivered according to an action or event and an action will be whenever a new blog post is published so we'll go ahead and preview this and uh, at this time it's saying there's only two people in that list so there'll be uh, if the in email were to go out right now it'd go out to two people so that is fine we're just gonna go ahead and uh, preview our content it looks like this at runtime when the campaign is actually going out these things will be changed by the blog post I'm gonna go ahead and hit send here and go back to my campaigns and what I'm gonna see is now in my action and events I have a campaign called company news blog post and this will automatically get sent every time there's a new blog post is published now I haven't really hooked it up to as in which live blog module is going to use this for example there's no connection between this campaign and the live blog module that's on my company news page so let's go ahead and do that now I'm looking at my live blog module and I'm going to go to the edit this page I'm going to go to my manage blog 
and from here I'm gonna go to author settings and I have an option here called send email with live campaign I'm gonna go ahead and check that option and here I'm getting a uh, select campaign uh, option so I, I was using this on a bunch of different uh, modules I was doing some testing so I have two other campaigns that I was created in a test module I can see those but the one I just created was company news blog post so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and now I've associated this campaign uh, this campaign with this live blog module so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and return now if I were to make a new blog post it will go out to those campaign uh, uses every time there's a new blog post that's all really it is to set up uh, the live blog and live campaign integration thank you so much for watching the video if you have any questions or concerns please do open a support ticket and we will be happy to assist you